Scotland versus France, 16 to 20. I said this was going to be the toughest game to call. I called Scotland by three, I think. What? Oh, man, it was the opposite by four. So I missed out on one. Like, and I feel like Scotland should have won the game. So I was kind of right. I was kind of right. A massive call right at the end, the TMO decision. I hate when a game comes down to a TMO decision, decision because it kind of rules out everything else of that game. This becomes the talking point. And I'm doing that by talking about it now. It, is, it was a massive part of the game. Nick Berry's, obviously his words as in, or his decision to say that it, he had held up. So TMO had to find conclusive um, evidence to overturn that call. He said the ball's on the ground. I could see the ball on the ground. Under Tuilangi's massive arm, the ball, it touched the Gilbert. It touched the ground. I feel like it touched the ground. I feel like Scotland were hard done by there. Obviously, it doesn't take away from the fact that they had a thousand opportunities throughout the game as well, especially in that first half. Um, but still tough, man. And like I said, I don't want to comment on the ref's decisions. And There's enough experts that do that. I just hate when a, the decision of a whole game comes down to a TMO decision. The game of game of inches. Another thing I think they need to scrap is this whole this new kicking back and forth law where guys can just stand still. I don't fully understand it, but it's something about the chases and if someone's on side, the guy catches the ball can just stand still and the guys aren't allowed to chase, like put pressure on them. Something needs to change there because it just looks silly. I get trying to save energy and rather than running back and forth. But it looks, it doesn't, it's not a good look for the game. They need to change that. But I think the game, the game took a while to get going. Very stop start. There's like 15 handling errors by the 55th minute. 15. Those front rowers are going to have sore, they'll be walking around like this for the rest of the week. That many scrums, a lot of back and forth. And then it took, it took a moment of brilliance. By Louis Belair Beret to that chip chase and score. Oh man, X, he's only 20 years old. That the him swapping out with Mofana. Mofana was on the wing for the island game and they wanted a bit more X Factor bringing him on. He's X Factor. He's what they call X Factor. Twinkle toes. Beautiful try. And France take the lead in the 71st minute. Oh man, what a game. Like I said, it was the. Toughest game to call, I feel like, this weekend. We're going to get straight into it. I'm going to stay on Scotland. Um, they showed intent right from the start to attack, which they have. They did in their first game as well. They want to attack. They want to attack. And it worked, for the, it worked for them in the first game. It worked in patches for them in this game. Um, but just not patient on attack, I think, was, their, was their, a bit of their problem. Sometimes the timing on some of their runs, some of the... Uh, guys running the dummy dummy lines, those short balls, not timing their run um, correctly or bad passes. Um, and then that just kind of strings on worse, like bad decisions. So you get a bad pass here. This guy's under pressure. He throws a bad pass or makes the wrong decision. Um, so it kind of like then a chain reaction kind of happens. What they did well in against Wales was uh, Ben White's box kicking. And they used it again in this game. And... Your kick is always only as good as the pressure or the pressure you apply on it, the chase. Ben White's kicks, execution to a T, 10 out of 10. But Duan van der pressure he puts on those kicks to try and get the ball back, to put the opposition under pressure. They did that for their first try. Beautiful box kick. Duane van der pressure on the kick, regather position, and then a beautiful backline play. It just shows that they, they skill that this the Scottish side have, that it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be first phase. They running backline plays or second, third phase. Beautiful hands out the back plays. And new debutante, Harry Patterson, hit that line beautifully. Run, take that the player on his inside, drew him in, all floated. Hugh Jones, quick hands inside to Ben White. To cross over for that first try. What a 
try. Why are they trying? That all started with Ben White's execution on the box kick and Duan van um applying pressure for that kick, to chase that kick. Just those little chain of events that then lead to a try. So that was beautiful. They had lots of, op- lots of opportunities in that first half. Yes, they took uh, kicks at goal, but there was a lot of times where they took the quick tap or they took the line-out option and didn't convert that into points. Credit to France's defense. They've obviously worked on that heavily. Against Ireland, they struggled on their defense. Very disconnected, going up in bits and bobs. This week, they were flat, strong, strong defense. Um, I thought Scotland defended well in, 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 in patches as well. I mean, that well, they did for mo- most of the game because France couldn't break through. They couldn't get through. Rory Dodge... Man, impact in the game straight in the first three minutes gets a turnover at ruck time. He's a he's a beast. Imagine him and Tommy Rafael from Wales in the same team. Whew, that'd be dangerous. Um, I thought Duane van der Marvers, like didn't score a try, didn't score a double, didn't really get the ball much. But what he did off the ball, so obviously setting up that first try, getting the ball back from a kick. And then the try saver on Gail Fiku. Coming from the other side of the field, as all good blind wingers do, cover defense. So the ball's gone that way. He's on this side of the field. It's cover defense run across the whole way across the field. Made the tackle on Fiku. Got up at the next ruck or next phase. Intercepted. It was five meters from their line. Intercepted and kicked the ball down back to 50 meter line. Great, like... That little, little, little plays like that, that build to potentially winning the game or putting your, your team in a good position to go on and win the game. Um, he stopped a 100% a try there, for sure. Like I said, uh, Scotland's kicking, again, good for Ben White. There were some parts, I think it was twice, where Scotland scored. They either scored a try or they kicked a conversion and then receiving... Off the, the kickoff, kickoff receipts off the back of that. Like they did so well in the Welsh game to then exit. Twice they messed up their exits and France turned that into points. And there's something that, again, they'll want to concentrate on to be better at. Um, but yeah, Ben White's box kicks in general play, pinpoint, pinpoint. And then Duan van der Marva obviously putting great pressure on there. Finn Russell's out of hand kicks, fantastic. He applies, I think once or twice he might have kicked where he could have played, um, but he apply, applies so much pressure to the opposition when he kicks really well, attacking kicks, turning the back three around. Um, and then obviously great off the tee, four from four. I think my standouts for Scotland, new kid, Harry Patterson, come in for Kyle Stain. Kyle Stain's wife has had a baby or has gone into labor. Um, Carrie, uh, Harry Patterson come in at fullback. Kyle Rowe went to the wing. Man. Confidence on these new guys just coming in. Same with Cam Winnett for Wales, the fullback. Guys just coming in, getting ball, getting um, hands on the ball, not afraid to contest for the ball, and just, just getting stuck in, making strong tackles. He had a few, few touches on the ball, like world class. Obviously setting up Ben White's try. He broke the line. They got that half tackle offloaded. New Jones and then Ben White scored. A quick decision making, like to back himself, gets the ball at the back, looks up, darts, let's go. Um, beautiful, good, good, very, very impressed there on debut. And then Pierre Schumann, I feel like for Scotland, is just, he's so important for the Scottish team. Obviously what he does at scrum time, but off the, off the ball, man, he gets through a mountain of work. Tackles, hitting rucks. And then obviously he's very strong with ball in hand. He's very one of their prominent ball carriers. Um, he's always tucking the ball and making, always makes meters off, off ball carries. Um, and a massive engine on him. It goes bloody, goes 80 minutes. Yes, yeah, Sian. Oof. Good, good man. Good one there for the piggies. We'll jump over to France. Um, very unfortunate for Aldrit. Getting stretched off or carted off, never, never good. He was kind of leading France in their defense, making strong tackles, getting there in ruck time. And this, that's how he un- injured himself at ruck time, stealing a ball. Uh, it looked like a knee or an ankle is not, not good. 
Um, a lot better in attack, more connected. They didn't get much opportunity. Yeah, Scotland had a lot of the ball. There was a lot of kicking as well. Um, did also show attacking, attacking intent from the line out. Like I say, line out's your biggest attacking option, weapon, because the teams are so far back, defensive lines. Fiku went there, almost scored. Um, continued pressure for their first try, just knocking away, knocking away, and knowing when to, to shift the ball. And Fiku did end up scoring in the corner. And then it took up until the 70th minute to go ahead for something crazy, some magic to happen. Louis Belair Beret br brought in on the wing for moments like this. Hugging that touchline. He had three or four Scottish guys on him. Puts it on the left foot, perfectly weighted, chip kick, two bounces, scores the try. 20 years old, how good. How good. Away at Murrayfield, like, that's massive. He'll remember that one for a long time. Their defense, I thought, was a lot better. Obviously, something they had to work on. They got pumped against Ireland, very disconnected. Um, and I thought they were really a lot, a lot more disconnected. Sean Edwards obviously gave them... Uh, absolute spray, I'm guessing, during the week. Sometimes too keen. Uh, three offside penalties, which led to nine points. Something they'll look at. And then Aldrit, I thought, was their man leading them up. And when he went off, uh, kind of staggered a little bit. But they'll have to, because I think he'll be done for the series. They'll have to look at someone else then to lead that French defense. Um, kicking Ramos, again, four from four. Ex exceptional off the tee. Doesn't, doesn't ever look like missing. And France just held in there. Credit, like credit to them. Yes, you can't, you can't um, make decisions, whatever the TMO is going to say. You just go out there, play your best to try and win the game. And France, they hung in there the whole game. Only took the lead in the 71st minute. Oh, tough as a TMO call to make the decision at the end. Tough, but France will be happy. They're happy. They won away at Murrayfield. After getting pumped by Ireland the week before. Scotland feeling unlucky, I feel like. What did you guys think? Again, guys, I don't want to bash any TMOs or refs. I'll let the experts do that. I thought that was a try at the end. I feel like Scotland are unlucky. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye.